Here we are in our third installment in the series, The Edit Window. We've gone over the edit modes, the zoom tools, and now we're gonna look at really this top la layer here, the edit tools. Okay, edit modes. How can uh, manipulation or editing be handled? And edit tools, how you actually handle them and what you do with them. All right, so first, you can click on these tools individually. Um, these three are probably your most important ones. The trim tool, the selector tool, and what's called, I'm trying to roll over it. It's called the grabber. Let's see if it responds. No, it does. Yeah, there we go. The grabber tool. If you click on this little border here, it highlights all three of them. That is called the smart tool. As you get more comfortable, I would highly recommend that you learn how to use the grabber. Uh, I'm sorry, the smart tool. I use it 90% of the time. Um, if you click and hold on some of these, you'll see some different uh, tools in a drop down. These are the main ones, the, the defaults, and uh, you should get used to using those first. But we'll start over here. This is essentially a zoom to uh, another zoom tool where you can select a section that you want to look at by highlighting it and it zooms you in. You can do it again and it keeps going closer and closer. Come back over here, hit one, get back to my normal default view. Um, and that's what the zoomer tool does. You highlight a section, you zoom in on it. I already showed you the zoom tools and the quick key of command open and close bracket. I don't use the zoom tool very much. Just letting you know. Now we're getting into our top three. Very, very important. I'm going to show you both and we're going to go back and forth between the modes because the tools and the modes are um, work together very closely. All right, so I'm going to zoom. I'm going to make this really big so everyone can see even though I think you can see I'm kind of liking this video thing all right well you can see that I have a grid value line here and I have some audio that starts before it um, I'm pointing that out because the trim tool very quickly allows you to cut audio from either end of a clip and a clip is essentially any chunk or region uh, of sound, MIDI, anything. In Pro Tools, they're called clips. So in using the trim tool, you can shorten the end of it. You can shorten the beginning of it. You can't do anything else. As you can see, it becomes an open bracket if I'm more than midway through the clip or a closed bracket. If I use this tool right where it's placed right now, it cuts it up to where I was. Um, the selector tool. The selector tool allows you to highlight within a clip. It's useful for when you want to cut and isolate something. Um, that's the selector tool. The grabber allows you with a single click to highlight an entire clip. Now, for example, if I had, if I highlight with my selector and I go to a very common edit move, which is command E separate at selection, which essentially means that my selection starts here, ends here. If I hit command E, I now have a section th with those start values. All right, so right now I have three clips. I have this clip, this one, and this one. And as you can, you might be able to hear that I'm clicking twice with my mouse using the selector tool, and I am able to highlight each of these clips. With the grabber, you can highlight them with a single click. Doesn't seem so groundbreaking at this point, but it, it's good to have both. 
Um, now that I've created these clips, I can also use the trim tool on them individually, however I'd like. Now, what's so cool about using the smart tool is that it gives you the ability to access all three of these tools without having to click on them. And if you're working over here, oh, I need this. Uh, that's not real efficient. So with all three highlighted, watch, watch my cursor and what happens, because that's what's critical. Remember that the trim tool only works from an end, meaning the beginning or the end of a clip. So if you drift over to the end of a clip, you can see your cursor has turned in to the trim tool. If you are not at the end, if you're more towards the center of a clip or anywhere that's not the end of a clip, it turns in to the selector. However, keep in mind, see this line in the center of the track? I like to call that the equator. It's the center. If you're above the equator, you're using your selector tool. If you're below the equator, you're using your grabber tool. Okay, so once again, all three, trim tool only works from an end or a beginning of a clip. The selector tool above the equator allows you to highlight within a clip. And the grabber below the equator allows you to highlight entire clips. Now, another cool little feature that's not exactly advertised up here is if you're at the end of a clip, okay, see my trim tool, but you go up to the corner, that little square indicates a fade tool. And if you click and drag, that line is indicating a fade and even manipulates that little bit. So you can see how it's fading out, which is essentially um, what's happening there. All right, so the smart tool. This scrubber, it's called a scrubber. It's kind of a throwback to the old days of audio recording when your playhead, you actually kind of found sections of songs by manually moving tape over the playhead and you take oh i can hear that's the snare drum get the razor blade let's cut it um we don't really do that anymore because we can see everything visually um but it seems to be popular to play with anyways if you have the scrubber tool engaged and you kind of click and drag Please won't see me. You can hear it's a, it's a it's a playhead essentially. Um, <clears throat> have not exactly found a great use for that, to be honest. So I'm not going to talk about it much. But if you want to play with it, spend five seconds. The pencil tool, and if you click on it, you have a whole bunch of them. I'm going to go ahead and say much more useful and important to understand dealing with MIDI or automation. Um, less so with audio. However, that being said, if you have a clip of audio and you are zoomed in super, super close, okay, maybe at number five, and you click on your pencil tool, you have the ability to redraw an audio file. Um, now, that's pretty deep. Uh, forensic editing. Example, there's a small click in an audio file. You can draw it out. There's other things we can do to fix that as well though. So I probably won't be expecting you to do this kind of work um, until you're pretty advanced. All right, so review again, zoom tool, trim tool, trimmer, selector tool, grabber tool, scrubber, pencil, smart tool. Now, the relationship between the edit modes is important. I don't want to forget that. 
I've zoomed in to a point where you can see these grid values. Remember, these are two clips, so we're looking at this highlighted clip. In grid mode, say I want to use my trim trimmer, I'm only going to be able to trim up to this place, to this point, to the grid value. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, drag it over, and you can see the edits are in steps related to the grid, which again are 16th notes. In slip mode, I can actually drag right up to say that larger wave spike, which could be useful depending what it is. So again, precision in slip mode, that's why I say edit and slip, and then say, oh, well, I want that to actually start on this grid value, change to grid mode, and move it over. And it starts right on that beat. OK, so again, that's how that relates. It relates to all the modes, though, not just to the, uh, or the tools, not just the trim tool, the selector tool as well. If I'm in grid mode, I can only select using the grid lines as, as values. But in slip mode, I can go in between. And again, when you're editing, if you're trying to pull out a snare drum or a word out of a track, um, the grid lines may have no relationship to your original track. So you edit in slip mode. All right, so I'm going back into grid for no good reason, just to finish off. And that are, uh, is all the modes. We're not going to get into these edit parameters or preferences yet.